Hello, welcome to the Autodesk Build webinar series. Today, we're going to discuss Pipe Smart Plans, part of Autodesk's Construction Cloud. I'm your host, Jake Ronza, Customer Success Manager and Pipe Product Specialist. The Smart Plans platform allows project teams to upload drawing files and instantly identify action, informational, and closeout submittals, along with QA, QC requirements, mockups, tests and inspections, and more. Using the capabilities within the platform, project teams can index all product, equipment, and finish schedules all on one page. The submittals themselves will be managed within a register, allowing project teams to edit and review a final submittal log with all relative submittals and identified schedules appropriately accounted for. Finally, you can download product, equipment, and finished schedules in an Excel template or can push directly to one of PIPE's integration partners to include BIM 360. Finally, Risk mitigation is always the name of the game. Smart plans will review potentially missing submittals via the pipe artificial intelligence functionality that raises RFIs early and reduces overall risk. Let's dive into the platform. Now you'll see that smart plans is all based out of a browser. Since this is cloud-based software, you'll be logging in with existing credentials that you'll create directly from your desktop. Once logged in, you'll see projects that either you've created or have been shared with you. Adding a project is quite straightforward. You'll click the orange Add Project button, and it will prompt you with a few steps to add your project details, upload your drawing files, and then finally process those plans. You'll see I have a project here all ready to go. Let's take a look at what those project details look like when you start to input them. We include a project number, version name, completion date, types to choose from, and value ranges. For teams expecting quite a few projects to be uploaded to smart plans, this is a great way to get that project level information, both accurate and available at all times. Now the actual uploading of the plans will look like so. I already have plans uploaded to this project but if I were to upload a new version and replace my existing version of plans, here are the integration partners that we currently have to be able to do so. You can upload files directly from Autodesk BIM 360, as well as some of our other integration partners. You'll always have the ability to upload your plan files saved locally as well. Ensure that you're choosing and selecting all the files relevant for that plan set. Sometimes it's a single volume and everything's all bundled up into a single PDF. That's great. Other times it is broken out by sheet. You will have the ability to select all relevant files and upload them at the same time. Smart Plans is smart enough to put everything in order as if it were uploaded as one single drawing set. As the plans process, it may take a few moments for them to complete. With smart plans, you do not need to stay within the platform to allow your plans to process. You can navigate away from pipe, close out of your browser, and perform other tasks as you'll actually be receiving an email when your plans have successfully ran. Now, once your drawings have been uploaded, there are a few modules to consider to allow for your overall review of the submittals that have been identified and getting a better understanding of the drawings themselves. 
we give you a few different interfaces within smart plans to be able to, to perform your work and review at a high level. Those modules include the dashboard, smart register, and plan view. You'll see that when drawings have successfully ran, the project status will be viewed as completed. You'll also be able to see timestamps of when the project was created as well as the project owner. The dashboard is going to yield the submittal requirements across the submittal groups mentioned previously to include action informational, closeout, any division one requirements, mockups, and schedules that have been captured. Across these submittal groups, action informational and closeout, submittals are then broken out by type. Now clicking on a specific submittal group will bring you to your smart register. This is your traditional itemized spreadsheet of what a typical submittal log would usually consist of. These are the actual submittals that were captured from the drawings that I've uploaded to this project. I can filter up at the top by submittal group, submittal type, and spec section. Now this is all unique to the plans that you've uploaded. We take this a step further in plan view, where you'll see a preview of the actual drawing file, which we'll reference here in just a moment. Now, some of the other bells and whistles in Smart Register do include the ability to search register wide by keyword, add any submittals that you would like to incorporate into your submittal log that either had not previously gone identified or would not have normally been interpreted as a true submittal from your plans, deleting items, making copies of items, and bulk updating items. Things that would typically take place in that CSV or Excel file, but now you have an intuitive interface to perform those tasks. In addition to the submittal details across the requirements that Smart Plans has pulled, you can also cross check the sheet PDF by clicking the sheet logo. That will automatically bring you to Plan View where the rendering of that sheet will appear in the center of your screen. Opening this tab up will give you a thumbnail of each sheet properly identified and tagged. You can also choose list view if you would like to keep it within the appropriate groups by sheet. You'll see that submittals that we previously were reviewing from Smart Register are highlighted directly on the drawings. Clicking on one of the highlights will then expand the appropriate section and then will allow you to cross check the submittal that had been picked up. In this case, it's a product data requirement. Now, this, these are only our general notes here, but you'll see that we have all appropriate spec sections appropriately tagged, which were picked up in the initial run. You'll see in addition to submittals by type, there are a few pipe artificial intelligence suggestions or pipe AI suggestions that you may want to consider. Essentially, what the pipe AI functionality is doing is picking up on areas that could be inferred as important requirements. These inferences are displayed with that pipe AI logo. And project teams will have the ability to click on these specific sections or AI, AI suggestions and add to your register. So if we take a look here in our ceramic tile, 
that will switch over here. And occasionally it will pick up on just the spec section title itself. But rest assured that it will give you these suggestions alongside submittals, or you can choose to uncheck the submittals and view just your AI suggestions. So really focusing in on that risk mitigation and clicking the pipe AI will actually launch this to perform a second review. I had already done it before, but you will be prompted to be able to run this so you can determine your scopes and spec sections that are actually applicable and identify any missing submittals or project requirements. In addition to submittals that are picked up from drawings, Smart Plans also captures schedules. Schedules are referenced and organized via this two column approach indicating the schedule itself and the sheet label that it occurs. You can edit schedule names and cycle through the different schedules just like how we would with submittals. So a side-by-side -side submittal and schedule cross-check within the plan view interface of smart plans. You can also add a schedule index. This will allow you to click and drag to add schedules. We already have base plate and anchor bolt schedule identified here, but if I were going to click and drag and select this, you'll see now that I can tag this and it will pick up my appropriate sheet label. Let's cancel out of that for now. So heading back over to the submittals portion, we do have different filtering capabilities, just like how we had in Smart Register. Let's get all of our sheets listed once again. From here, you are able to filter by division, spec section, submittal group, and our type groups, our submittal types, sheet numbers, and even deleted submittals. Heading back now to Smart Register, once project teams had had the opportunity to properly identify the requirements that have been picked up to include your submittals and product schedules, you will then need to export that submittal log to the appropriate Excel template. You see we have a lot of integration partners here that you'd be able to export to. BIM 360 being one of them, we'll use BIM 360. Now there is a direct integration with both BIM 360 submittals and BIM 360 document management. When choosing the platform of your choice, you'll choose your company in the project name associated with your BIM 360 or corresponding project management system credentials and click next. From here, that's where a mapping can be applied to allow any pipe smart plan submittals to be mapped to the appropriate submittal type in your project management tool. For BIM 360, you'll see that we condense a lot of the extra pipe submittal types into its most relevant type on the submittal management side. So rest assured, we're not having to be married to any of the types that AutoSpecs is yielding for you. We can get them appropriately mapped and converted to your preference. Now, the integration steps are quite straightforward. It's going to pick up on all the submittal information that you had previously audited in your register. And from there, you can filter 
by the appropriate requirements that need to be exported. Anything previously exported will also be indicated if you plan on doing multiple exports from this given version. Now heading back over to the project dashboard, this is going to be the key indicator really of the baseline yield that Smart Plans is going to give you. This indicator essentially means that the more requirements um, that you have listed here, then you know the more that you will need to review and appropriately include within that submittal log. Now, keep in mind, this is based off of the project team's discretion. So we really recommend any engineers, project managers, or any other project team members that will have a hand in managing the drawings and identifying and reviewing submittals to apply their expertise and flesh out that submittal log appropriately. Smart Plans is giving you and advising you what it is the algorithm it picked up. It will befall on the project team, though, to interpret exactly what that information is from a submittal standpoint and how it will be appropriately packaged and eventually exported to its most appropriate submittal log or direct project management integration. Now, when it comes to pipe resources, we have a few training articles as well as lines of support that you're able to leverage at all times. There is a product tour available within Smart Plans that coaches you how to build your initial submittal log. We also have our need help section up here at the top. That includes our support line and email alias, as well as tutorials. You'll see that we have plenty of helpful tutorials here, many of which speak to everything discussed during today's presentation. Last but not least, if you ever need a question answered, a good place to go is Pipe Chat. To access Pipe Chat, you'll click the orange balloon icon down here in the bottom left hand corner. It's going to pick up on your Pipe user credentials and allow you to start a conversation with one of our support team members. This is a great way to get a question answered quickly, and we'll know exactly which project that you're currently working in to reduce the amount of hoops we need to jump through to get you a question answered or a resolution. So that concludes today's pipe training presentation for smart plans. For any questions, please utilize the lines of support and resources mentioned. And we look forward to working with you as you upload your first drawing set into the platform. Thank you.